Hey everyone, so um, today's look is going to be a really sexy, vampy, smoky eye. Um, I haven't, I don't think I've ever done a look like this. Um, this is kind of inspired by like Kim Kardashian's look that she wears a lot of the time her and um, Chloe, not really Courtney because Courtney doesn't always like wear super smoky, but Kim and Chloe wear like the super dark smoky a lot. And then they always do it with like this really pretty like kind of coral pinky bronzy cheek and then like a really um, pretty nude lip. So that's kind of like the whole inspiration for this look and I just wanted to do something like really kind of sexy and vampy for the holidays because I just feel like this is, would be a great look for like New Year's or Christmas or whatever the case may be. It's just kind of like, you know, rare, just sexy. I like it. I haven't worn my makeup like this in a really long time. I haven't done a smoky eye this dark in a long time. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into the video as usual. Um, pictures and details and everything I used in the video um, will be on my blog if you need to go through things again. But um, for the most part, everything's going to be in the video as I always include everything in the video. So um, of course, but if you have any questions aside from that, just go ahead and leave them down below. So um, I'll go ahead and let you guys get into the video and I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you all later. So I started off by using my favorite primer and a foundation that creates a really flawless finish on my face. And then I went on to apply a eyelid primer to my eye. For my base, I decided to use a cream liner. Um, I prefer to use cream liner because it doesn't crease up as much as a regular black base would as if I was to use like NYX Jumbo Pencil or whatever in like black beans. So I just put that on and basically just blend it out right at the crease area and also put it underneath my eye. Moving on, I take a matte black eyeshadow and just pat that right on top of where I put that base and drag it somewhat a little bit past the crease and also sweep it underneath the eye. Going in with a fluffy blending brush with nothing on it, I just basically just blend all around that area just to soften out the edges. Then I go in with a kind of reddish brown tone color and just basically use that to go into the crease and drag it up towards my brow bone. I add this brownish red color all the way around my eye, also dragging it underneath the eye to better blend out the under eye area. For the inner corner of my eye, I decided to use this really pretty pigment that's kind of like a mother of pearl pearlescent color. I really like it so I've used that in the center. You can use any color you want though. For my highlight under my brow, I just went with a somewhat soft shimmery color that's still pretty close to my own skin tone. Even though this look is very dark already, I still used a liquid liner just to go over my lash line. And then I applied some mascara before applying my false eyelashes. If you want to leave your eyes a little more open, you don't have to line your waterline, but I decided to go ahead and line mine with the black liner. I used a little concealer to go ahead and clean up around my eyes and just kind of brighten up that area. And I finished off my face by dusting on a little coat of powder and also bronzing up my cheekbones a little bit. And there's me thinking about what blush I want to use. So I decided to use a pretty corally kind of sparkly blush just to kind of like counteract the um, darkness of the eyes basically and then also brighten it up even more with a little splash of a hot pink blush on top of the cheeks. For my lips I went with a really nude color um, just to kind of help not battle so much against the eyes but it actually complements the look a lot especially with putting this coral lip gloss over it. It definitely complements the blush which just ties the whole look in together. 
To finish off my face, I just sprayed on a little bit of Max Fix Plus, and that was basically it. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching. Um, details, if you missed anything in the video, all the products and more pictures will be on my blog.